So with the rest of the NHL season in shambles, I decided to take a look at one of the Winnipeg Jets' most underlooked defensemen this year, Tucker Pullman. Now we all know as hockey fans that the Winnipeg Jets really had a bad defense this year. It improved over time with chemistry building and all that type of stuff, but when you look at it as just a defensive group, they were not very good, and in fact they were one of the worst defensive groups in the league. But nonetheless, Tucker Pullman had a fantastic season for a second year basically player in the NHL. When you look at Tucker Pullman as a player, he's a right shot defenseman drafted by the Winnipeg Jets in the 5th round, 127th overall in the 2013 NHL draft, and he's on a contract value of only $775,000 for this season and for next season. So overall, he's on a fantastic contract, very affordable, and he's had a very, very, very good year. His first season in the NHL coming out of University of North Dakota was in 2017-2018 with the Winnipeg Jets. He only played 24 games with them. He was more of a depth depth uh, defenseman, kind of coming off of the moose for most of the time. And overall, he served a lot of time in the press box, but he had a decent rookie year, putting up one goal and one assist for two points in 24 games. But unfortunately, after that, in the 2017-2018 and going into 2018-19 season of the NHL and the AHL, he was expected to take the next big step. But due to some injuries that happened, he didn't get to make that next step, and he actually only ended up playing 43 games last season in the AHL. And because of that, he did not have overall, you know, a great year, and a lot of people kind of thought he dropped out of favor with the Jets, and that there were other defensemen like Sammy Nikiu who were going to pass him and take his spot, that he'd kind of lost his spot because he'd been passed because of the injuries he had sustained. But when you come look at the 2019-2020 season, he played only 57 games, but he had his best seasons in point-wise, putting up 4 goals and 12 assists for 16 points, 24 penalty minutes, and a minus 1 on a pretty bad Winnipeg Jets blue line. Now overall, when you look at Tucker Pullman, these stats aren't impressive, like they're not insanely impressive as like a star or as a solid top four guy. It's like, okay, that's a great, you know, bottom pairing type of guy to have and it's a good defenseman to have for depth. But I think Tucker Pullman can actually take another step and develop into a really, really good two-way offensive type of player as well. I know that the game is there. I can see it with how he plays. He's got a good sense of offense for a defenseman, and he plays a great two-way game in the neutral zone, and he's got a pretty good shot. Because of that, if he can apply these skills to better suit him, you know, joining the rush, pinching a little bit more, getting more shots on net, I feel like he could definitely end up getting a f more points and end up becoming a more offensive producing defenseman. Um, when you look at him overall with the defensive core of the Winnipeg Jets of this season, he is ranked by stats our third best defenseman in games played and actually in points. In front of him is only Neil Pionk at number one and Josh Morrissey at number two. So overall to have him as a second year guy in the NHL being our third best defenseman and playing pretty solid minutes and playing pretty solid defense is an exciting thing to see, especially for a fifth round pick drafted in 2013 and who spent a lot of time in university and is coming over. It brings a lot of promise and it's exciting. Um, there are a lot of players that like this that come over that are from college who end up playing defense and don't develop that well into offensive pieces. They're more of a defensive type of player. But I feel that because of how good the Winnipeg Jets are offensively, Tucker Pullman can use that to his advantage to develop more of an offensive flair. And if he does, he could be a really, really good piece for the Winnipeg Jets moving forward, especially considering he is signed for next season on such a really team-friendly deal. And even after that, he'll be most likely getting a bridge deal, which is not that expensive. If I had to guess, Tucker Pullman maybe would make around 1.5 on a two-year deal, if, if I had to guess, roughly, um, going into maybe what, depending on what his season will look like next year. Um, but overall, he's a solid player and is playing really, really well and developing into a good role with the Jets. Now when you look at overall what next season our defense could be, there are a lot of question marks. Unfortunately, we can't see into the future and we don't know what the Jets are going to do in free agency. Personally, I would like to see them add some def defensemen. I made a video talking about who I would like to see the Jets go after in free agency. I will tag that in the description of this video. You can go ahead and watch it and I'll talk more about that there. But overall, looking at what the Jets have going into next season with prospects and signed players, I could definitely re see a really positive defensive core being run by Josh. Josh Morrissey, bringing back Dylan DeMello, with Neil Pionk playing with Tucker Pullman, and then of course we have Vili Hainola and Dylan Sandberg coming up. We also have other players that we could re-sign and bring in to help fill that role, and of course we can't forget that we also have Sammy Niku, who will hopefully be healthy next year, coming into spring training, can play a full spring, tra spring training, <laughs> excuse me, uh, preseason, and um, hopefully he can play a good preseason 
and then would not be injured this year, and he can overall just have a better stage in his development and make the team as a seventh guy or hopefully get a full-time spot with the team. That's what I would like to see. I'm still very high on Sammy Niku. Overall, I think he could be a really, really good player for us. You know, when you look at his stats this year, in 17 games, he did put up five assists, which is pretty good considering he played bottom pairing minutes and he didn't get a lot of power play opportunities. So it's nice to see a guy who is still coming into his own the league in 17 games putting up five assists. I have, that's a lot of promise still, and I definitely could see Sammy Niku making this team full time next year. It really depends on how Vili Hainola and Dylan Sandberg look in preseason. But overall, I think that if Tucker Pullman can, since he's got such good, good defensive upside, if he can take that offensive side of his game and make it even better than what it already is, he can become a really, really solid two-way defender for the Winnipeg Jets into his career. He still is young when you look at his age. He is only 26 years old. Um, I know that seems kind of on the, like the last few years of a prospect, but I look at him and I see that the years with injuries and getting back into the league now and playing 57 games and putting up 16 points, having a good, you know, defensive, playing good defensively, I think that he can still grow offensively. When we saw Josh Morrissey break into the league as a rookie, his offensive side of his two, of his, the two-way game he brings for, that he had in the WHL, it really wasn't there. It was more of focusing on his defensive side of the game, getting better defensively so that when he was ready, he could translate his offense and put up points in the NHL. Josh Morrissey is kind of doing what I think Tucker Pullman is going to eventually do, but instead of developing his defense, he's going to be developing his offense. I think that Tucker Pullman, if all the cards can be played right, he could easily be a defenseman who could easily put up 30 points a season. I definitely could see that. And if you have a guy who can put up 30 points a season, play solid minutes, who can eat crunch minutes in good uh, in dirty time, and all that stuff like that that's important for a defenseman to do come playoff time, come you know playoff runs at the end of the season, trying to get into those last spots depending on how good you are of a team, I feel like that he can be a really good piece moving forward. And when you look at the hindsight that he is on a good contract going into the next season, it really, really is encouraging because that means that we have a higher chance on bringing somebody in on maybe a two-year deal that is more of a veteran presence who can actually play some really good solid top four minutes, and that can really help develop Tucker Pullman's offense as well. So when you compare Tucker Pullman to what we actually have, I definitely think that, like, you know, what we have this season, I definitely think Tucker Pullman can develop into one of the best Jets defensemen, but the problem really is, is that, unfortunately, since he is 26 years old, as much as I personally think that he can develop and grow, we're just going to have to see what the team believes he can do. If the team is more set on him being in that role of, like, you know, a decent two-way guy, bottom pairing type of player, he's not going to get the opportunity that he will to be able to develop, but I still think that Tucker Pullman's game fits really really well with what Paul Maurice likes in a defenseman, so I could definitely see him getting that playing time over a Sammy Niku, not because he's a better player than Sammy Niku, but because his defensive game fits the more to what Paul Maurice likes to see from his defenders. Paul Maurice doesn't favor, like, you know, re in, past, in the past, he doesn't really go with offensive guys that much. He doesn't really like to go with small players. We saw that with Nick Patan on offense, and we're starting to see that with defense like Sammy Niku. So overall, if he can... He said, Tucker Pullman might still get those opportunities over a younger guy like Sammy Niku because of his play style, and that can be okay as well because there are certain ways that teams are built, and if the coach wants one player to play one way, you know, you can't really do anything about that, but if it's for the better of the team, overall you have to understand it, and it has to hopefully will work out well. So I think that he can really, you know, play anywhere for the team. Um... He can develop, like I'm, like I've said, he can grow into this, you know, offensive flair. He can grow into this great player for a two-way game for a defender on the on a top four, or he can just kind of sit where he is now. Maybe get to 25, 24, around there, 20 points, maybe a season. Be a really reliable two-way guy on your bottom pairing which is more likely where he will end up going. I could definitely see that. That I can see it happening. But I still think there is a really good chance at 26 years old going into a season next year where the Winnipeg Jets will be better healthy, hopefully, and will be better defensively because they will be able to actually spend money because Dustin Bufflin will no longer be on the books, will have his contract so we can act off so we can actually like look and plan and you know try to build a defense unlike in last off season where we were really hamstrung with what we were able to do with the defense because we didn't know if we could bring back Tyler Myers because we didn't know if we could afford a six million dollar cap hit if Dustin Bufflin was gonna return and all that stuff. It's been a complete you know shit show on that depend end of everything with cap. So because of that I definitely think that Tucker Pullman can grow into this player. It just really depends on what opportunities he's given next season, depending on what the Jets do in free agency, depending on what prospects play really well going into preseason, and overall what the look of the defense wants to be in Paul Maurice's vision. 
With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on Tucker Pullman if you think that he can grow into this role I see him possibly growing into as being a really good two-way defender who can put up a decent number of points, or if you think that he's more likely going to end up falling into a bottom pairing role, kind of staying where he is, improving a little bit as an offensive game, but do you think that other players are going to pass him? What are you guys' thoughts on him? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know how you guys, your opinions on everything down in the comments section below. Like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Take care.